Welcome to Wild Country Adventures. In this video, we're going to be replacing the driver's side mirror on a 12th gen F-150. The replacement is quite simple. We'll have two 8mm bolts, one here, one inside here, and then two 6mm bolts down at the bottom to remove the door panel so we can access the bolts for the mirror. It is going to be easiest if you have your window down so you can just reach through and keep the mirror from falling. Now, to remove these panels, I'm just using a pointed tool. This is an old circuit tester, so anything that you can use to pry these out will work. With the panels removed, we're just going to go ahead and remove these bolts. We're then going to take our 6mm socket, remove the bottom bolts, And with the bottom bolts removed, all we need to do is just pull up on the door panel and it'll slide right off. That's going to leave these three bolts here exposed. We want to go ahead and remove the wiring. Real simple, you just got the little lever here, you push in, pull the wires out, and then we'll remove these bolts and take the old mirror off. Now when you're taking this last bolt out, you want to make sure you support this mirror because it will come down. Alright, with all the bolts removed, we're just going to pull the old mirror out. Just like so, then we'll slide the new mirror in, bolt it back on, plug it in, put the door panel on and we're good to go. You just want to make sure you get the bolts lined up. You get everything slid into place and you want to make sure you're holding this again. And then we're just going to pop the bolt back on. I'm just going to hand thread all three on first. And then we're going to go ahead and tighten them down. Mirrors on, plugged in, and now I'm just going to turn the key, double check the connection, make sure the mirror is moving, everything's working as it should. Now we can go ahead and put the door panel back on. So now the hardest part about getting this door panel back on is making sure you got the lock coming up through this hole. So I found it easiest if you just Take this grommet, pull this grommet out, and then slide the grommet back in after you get the door panel on. Just like so. And we just pop that back in. There we go. Now we just gotta bolt the door handle back on. And we'll bolt them back on on the bottom as well. Last thing we have to do now is to just replace the panels that cover these top bolts. And that's it. Mirror is replaced. 
Uh, the mirror I purchased used for about 60 bucks. Um, took all of about 10 minutes to replace it myself. If you go to a shop to have this done, you're going to be paying anywhere from six to seven hundred dollars. So save yourself some time. It's a very easy fix to do yourself. Other than that, you also want to make sure that when you're uh, purchasing your new mirror, you're getting ones that are set up for the features of your truck. My truck only has the electric adjustable mirrors, where some have heated mirrors, some have the blinker here, some's got the puddle light down here. My truck is not wired for that, so those features would not work on this. So you want to make sure you're purchasing the mirror that you need for your truck that has the features your truck has. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to make sure you're notified of new videos from Wild Country Adventures.